It's, it's always hard. You know, I, I think about him on a daily basis. Trevor Oliver was just 10 years old when his father, Army Staff Sergeant Travis Adkins, deployed to Iraq for a second time. He was a very, very strong person. He had the, the most courage I know out of anybody. And yeah, no, he was a very, very loving father and the blueprint of a soldier. The Army was Atkins calling. On the battlefield, his men thought of him as a big brother who always led by example. You know, as he's asking you to do things, um, he was already doing it. But ahead of his second deployment, his father, Jack Atkins, a Vietnam veteran himself, urged him to switch to a less risky Army assignment. You wouldn't hear of it. He said, Dad, I'm, I'm infantry. That's where I belong. That's who I am. On June 1st, 2007, Atkins and his squad encountered two insurgents in Iraq. Atkins fought in hand-to-hand -hand combat, wrapping his arms around one of them and slamming him to the ground. Atkins then positioned his body as a human shield and braced for what was next. Former Sergeant Sandeo saw the fight from the gun turret of their vehicle. It was obvious he knew what was, was coming. It, it turned out to be a grenade detonated suicide vest and he had that split second where his instinct took over and he, he sacrificed himself to protect myself and the others who were present. To Atkins battle buddies, no one is more deserving of this revered award. You know, there's gallantry, intrepidude, uh, and uh, another fancy term that they like to use when describing these things and he's every bit of that and more. Travis was a, a true hero. He was an American hero. I hope that he's looking down and, you know, can see that I'm trying to make the best of the opportunity that he gave me. To the family, the Medal of Honor means nothing compared to the honor and respect of Atkins' fellow soldiers. Respect for the way he lived, the way he served, the way he made the ultimate sacrifice. I'm grateful he did the job that he did and he, that he saved those young men. Um, he was a good soldier and he, he did what he needed to do. The medal, they say, brings closure for a sacrifice not forgotten by a grateful nation. Carla Babb, VOA News, The Pentagon.